Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kita. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to assemble cash envelopes. I am trying to get into this whole budget lifestyle and so I decided I wanted to create a newer version because I do have an older version of my shop which I'll show you in this video. So that's what we're going to be doing today. But first, if you're new to my channel, I hope you'll stick around and you will consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. So let's jump in and I'll show you guys these cash envelopes envelopes if you want to see them make sure to stay tuned So first and foremost, I thought I would show you guys one of the original versions in my shop. I do have a version one and then this is version two, which you can download and print from our website and you can assemble them yourself. So I'm not gonna show you how to assemble these in this video. I do have a video on my channel where I show you how to do that. So I'll try to remember to link it above or below so that way you can see that. But I am now offering uh, printing these for you guys and shipping them out to you unassembled. I do not have time to assemble these. These are a little bit more complicated than the ones I'm gonna show you, but these are awesome. I love these so much. I've had so many people purchase these. It might be one of the hottest items in my shop. And so I will send them to you just like this in a stack already printed because I do use a thicker paper with a little sheen to it. So if you don't have the ability to print them there, or if you just want to uh, have me print them for you, I can do that. But just remember, I'm not going to cut along the dotted line. All I'm going to do is literally print them from here and I will ship them out to you. It comes with several different categories. Uh, it also comes with blank ones. So as you can see, that one has a blank spot to write in what the category is. You would fold it over, you would cut along that dotted line, and then you can tuck your cash in from the top and it has a little lip. That way it makes it easy to slide it in and out. And so I will be adding these to the shop so that way again if you want to you can purchase them it comes with this black and white version and also a floral version and I will not be updating this to any future versions because I again have created some new cash envelopes and that is where I'm going to be focusing new designs on the newer version but again I do have these available in my shop if you want to purchase them and just have me print them out for you they are very different from the version that I'm getting ready to show you now but I do love both versions but these are the new cash envelopes they are gonna come laminated, as you can see. I was considering using a thicker laminate material, but I think the thinner laminate is gonna work better for me because it's just easier to tuck your money in and out. So as you can see, it comes with a little opening there at the top for you to just slide the money in and out. And I'll show you, cause it is a little bit wider than a dollar bill. And that's because, you know, you might wanna add a whole bunch of money in here or whatever. Um, and you know, you may need additional space. So I want it to be just a little bit wider than your dollar bill. And so that's how it looks. And also it comes with a little extra side for you to punch it and put it in your planner. I will not be punching these. I am doing a lot and I will not have the ability to be able to punch these for you. So uh, since it is a thinner uh, laminate there and it's not my traditional one that I use for my covers which you guys definitely probably could not punch at home then you should be able to punch these very easily and so you should be okay not uh, having me punch them here and so that's how they look they're gonna come in various styles right now they are just in this pretty floral design so I'm hoping that that translate well on camera but it's really a pretty floral design so that's the front and then the back comes with a tracker and so you can uh, use a Sharpie or a dry erase marker to write in all of your money that you spent. And um, you know, how, this is how you can track what you're spending. There's a spot for a month of, and then a spot for a total budget at the top there. So these are perfect. And so that's what will be printed on the back. So they'll be in your planner like this. You can flip them and flip them and it will keep your cash nice and safe. Of course, you want to make sure that you have it in some sort of planner that closes so that way it doesn't fall out. Although it is pretty secure, 
but still, just I, I'd rather just be safe than sorry, but as you can see. But the more you put in there, of course, it's gonna get tighter and tighter, but it doesn't come out with just that one. And you may not wanna put coins in here because that may be a little tricky. Uh, what I would suggest is just get just a little um, pocket, maybe a clear pocket from Amazon that you can snap into your planner or um, you know, just a little change purse and that's where I will put my change. I'm sure there's tons of videos on YouTube in terms of what the best way is to manage your coins, and uh, so I would definitely check out some of those videos, but that, that's what I would suggest. So that's how they look, laminated, all pretty and such. And so I'm gonna show you how to assemble them. So I am doing this video for two reasons. One, of course I wanna show you guys what is available in my shop. Secondly, I like to from time to time in listings on my shop put a how-to video uh, for things like this because I am offering as a printable download. So you can download these and assemble them at home. Uh, and if you wanna know how to do that, you know, video is very helpful for that. So I am filming this video for that reason as well so I can copy the link and put it in that description of these envelopes and that way you will know how to assemble them at home. So that's how they look. You can also add on these trackers. So again, there is one on the back here, but if you don't wanna use a dry erase marker, you just want some paper trackers, you can add these on. So there is a listing for just the envelopes and a set of 12. And there is a digital listing for that as well. And then there's also variations within the listing. If you don't want the wording printed on it, you can have them blank like this with just a box or you could put in your dry erase and you write that in or it comes like this, literally with just the pattern there. And of course they all still come with this printed on the back. So you'll see those as options in the listing just in case you don't wanna use my pre-printed on subjects. You can just uh, purchase these in a set of 12 or these in a set of 12 and just write them in yourself. And then again, you can add these on. I do have a digital listing for all of this stuff. So you can order this digitally and then print them out at home or you can purchase them in a set of 12 and I will include them with your order. We also do have some new cash envelope subject um, fold over divider tabs. You guys know I recently added some budget fold over divider tabs to the shop. So these are separate. These are specifically for cash envelopes and I will show you how to add all of that. So this is a new listing as well as these as well as the cash envelopes and then uh, PDF versions of the cash envelopes and also the expense or the trackers as well. So anyways, I just wanted to show you what all was available so you didn't get confused when you saw that in the shop and then remember this is also a separate item that you can purchase. You can also add these if you want and it's up to you. And you can also add these if you want because I'm gonna show you how you're gonna put them in onto the envelope and how they would be used. So let's go ahead and get started because I've talked through too much of this video. So I have one here that is not cut. So I can show you how to cut it from start to finish. I do have a guillotine slicer, which is because I print so many inserts, I need that. And it's just literally a big slicer that you just pull down on and it cuts like 500 sheets. So I went ahead and cut these and it also makes it to where they're all uniform, they're all clean. And so, um, so I went ahead and, and cut these and then I'll set them to the side. And then I wanna cut this so that you can see how to do it with your slicer. So basically it's very simple. Um, I know this one here has instructions on how to do it, but you really don't need instructions. All you do is literally cut along the dotted line or not the dotted line, but the solid line, and then you're gonna fold it in the middle. It's super, super simple. I was thinking so complicated about this initially, and I said, you know what? We're just gonna keep it simple. We're just gonna make it square. It's gonna make it easy for me to mass produce because a lot of times, you know, when I post something, you guys go crazy and you just purchase them all. And I really appreciate that. And so I wanna be able to easily mass produce these so it doesn't become a burden in my shop. And so the best way to do that in this particular case was just to make it square and not try to do all that fancy stuff. So as you could see, you saw how easy that was to just slice around those edges. And then all you're literally gonna do is take it and fold it along that, this line here right there in the middle. Oop, can you see that? There's a line right here in the middle. You're just gonna take it and you are going to just fold it right along that line. Super easy. And I like to just get myself started and it is half and half, meaning that if you fold this in half, it's gonna be even. So you don't technically have to go by that line. I just put it there just to, you know, if that's something that is helpful to you but you literally can just fold it in half, corner to corner, and it, it'll be fine that way as well. Then you're just gonna fold it just like that, so that will give you the envelope, basically. The last thing that you're gonna need is lamination paper, of course. 
Normally I use a really, really thick one for like my covers, but in this particular case, I believe this is three mil. I believe so. Yeah, these are three mil. And so these are gonna work out perfectly. You can get these in your local Walmart or craft store and, or you can order them online. And then what I do is open this up. I don't tear anything apart as you are making a pocket, but you literally folding this in half is gonna make the pocket for itself. And then I just go ahead and line it up, not all the way to the top. It's about a finger's width of space there at the top because you need to be able to punch them and put them in your planner if that's what you choose. So you can literally fit three of these in here. You wanna leave space in between these two. So that way you can still have space to punch this one. This space right here is gonna be for this one. You want space right here for this one. So I just line it up as close as I can without getting in the way of that. One more, three of them fit inside of, of this lamination pouch. You don't have to arrange them like, like I do, but I just find that that's the easiest way for me. And then also just make sure that it's lined up from corner to corner. Sometimes you have to refold it if it's not correct. And then tuck that in. Again, leaving that additional space. When it comes to this last one here, I take it all the way to the edge. That will save me one cut. So I'll pull it all the way to the edge because that edge is gonna be cut anyways if it wasn't all the way to the edge because that's where you're gonna stick your money in. So that can technically be flush to the edge. And then again, make sure that this one is even. All right, we're good to go. So I have my laminator right here. And I had to go scale back a little bit because I was I was running these through my my laminator that I use for my business, and it was burning the the plastic. So I had to go back to my simpler one, and that is the A box version, which I do have a video on my channel of me reviewing this. I love this. It even has a little slicer here at the top if you need it, a little blade, and you can slice that down to cut those pages. So I'm literally gonna let this run through. A lot of times also when I get mine out of the laminator, I like to just press it flat or put something on top of it. So that way, you know, because it's gonna be hot and as it heats up, it'll lay flat. So as you can see, you saw how easy that was, right? So now we're gonna bring our slicer out again. And I'm going to just make a cut here and here because that's gonna be the opening. Remember, since we put that flush to the edge, we already have our first opening. So that saves us one cut. So what I do, I have uh, the Fiskars um, slicer. I pull it up and there's a little like a little kind of line here in the middle that I can tell where it's gonna cut. And I will just slice it. And then I'll do that second cut just on the opening parts. That just makes it easier for me. So I do my first cuts along there. All right, and then once you have your openings cut, now you have to do your additional cuts. So I measure mine, the width of this right here, the first spacing right there is where I'm going to line it up to, as you can see, and make sure it's even. And then I literally just slice it down. And then this one, because I want a little bit of additional space to punch, I do two spaces. So you can kind of see how much work goes into this stuff because even my covers is like a similar process and I probably sell the most of covers in my shop because you guys just love the covers so much and it's a lot of work to take, you know, laminate it and then slice it so that it looks uniform. So this is a similar process. And of course I want to do this one the same exact way just because I want them to all be the same size. Got one more here. And so of course this would be your own method. This is just what works for me in order for everything to look uniform. And so for me, I have to develop a process in order for that to be the case. All right, so now that I've got them all sliced, I just wanna hold them together just to make sure they're all the same size. 
Yep, they are all the same size. And then I want to match them up with these because I did the same thing here. Because, of course, you know, when I ship these out to you, I want them all to be the same size. That's important. And so what I also do, just because, you know, sometimes these sharp edges can be a bit much. And I don't want anyone to get poked with a sharp edge. I take them. Again, this is a separate step that you don't have to do. But if you have a corner rounder, it may be beneficial for you to just round those corners off. And it makes it look prettier, in my opinion. That soft, rounded edge makes it look prettier. So now they are all uniform. And so you can take them all together. If you have the right punch, like the Arc or Levenger, you can take these and slide these through and punch it all down. Even an A5 punch, I think you can do that with. If you have a Happy Planner punch, I would try maybe one to two, because you know that punch is like hit or miss. But for me, since I have uh, the punch that I have, I can literally take it and put it all through and then punch it all down. And that will ensure that each one is the same size. You also don't have to punch them. You can literally just put these in your wallet just like this and you don't have to punch them so again it comes with you can order a set of all of them to look like this and just write in the subjects every single month or just write them in one time and just use it long term or blank like this with just the pattern which is still super pretty or with all of the subjects and again there are 12 subjects and so I do still have a whole stack of hair here that I need to laminate, but I don't necessarily feel like I need to do that on camera I think you get the gist of it so now let me show you the other add-ons and so I think this one has a dollar in it. So just to show you size again, it's easy to slide in and out because of the size, just a little bit wider than a dollar bill and a little bit deeper in as well. So that way, again, if you have any additional you know, money, if you have a lot of money to put in here, it's gonna make it easier because it's gonna expand and you just, you know, I, in my opinion, I just thought it would make it easier. So again, we also have these that you can add on that come in a set of 12. And if you just want to write on it as opposed to um, writing it in white erase marker on the back. And then again, we have these um, tracker inserts that you can purchase as well separately. I may eventually do a whole kit set. Um, they are double sided. So the same thing is printed on the other side. Easy to slide in and out. So you would put that in here along with your dollar bill. And this is only if you don't want to write on the back with your dry erase marker. You just want to literally have a piece of paper that you can write on and discard it every month or however often you do your cash envelopes. But if you want to have this space, it is available to you. And again, a Sharpie works better and then remove it with some acetone or alcohol or a wet erase marker. I don't really recommend dry erase markers. I don't really like the function of them because I feel like they don't stay on the, the paper here. So I would wet or a Sharpie. But I probably will be using this method of just having this paper add on, writing in and then tucking it in here. So as you can see, it sits flush in here and it just, it's just perfect. You can again um, punch them or you can just you know, stack them up and just stick them in your purse or stick them in, you know, where, however you want to store them is up to you. So the last thing I wanted to show you are the fold over divider tabs. And so how these would work, let's take the grocery one because you want to match it up with this. And again, this is an add on. So you technically don't have to get these or the insert that I just showed you. You don't have to get those. Uh, the envelopes literally come with the envelopes or you can add on this additional stuff. You can purchase these by themselves, these, this by the, itself, this by itself. It's completely up to you. But you cannot purchase anything at all. That's also up to you. And so basically what you're gonna do is the fold over tabs that you're gonna pull it off. These do come in glossy and matte and eventually they will come in four different fonts like some of my other labels do. But for now it's just the type font. So you're just gonna take it, you can either put it on the outside here or you can shimmy it on the inside here. So what I'm th I was thinking I was gonna do is lay it here. As you can see, you can match it up and then get it like as close to the top as possible. Just like that. And then you're literally gonna fold it over. So now just keep note that if you decide to use this method, it is gonna obstruct your view just a little bit. You still have plenty of space. And then you're just gonna literally fold it over just like that. And so that way, when you have it stored in your planner, because it's gonna be stacked up like this, you won't be able to see every single subject. So I thought this would be perfect to where you could see sticking out the top what section it is and you can easily flip to it. 
So that was the whole thought process behind this. And I want it to be an add-on just in case for those people who don't want this. Um, you have the option You have the option to add it if you would like. So that's how it would look. And again, because I put it on the inside, and again, you can put it on the, the top, but make sure you don't put it on both sides or else it's gonna close this. You can also put it on the top. It's completely up to you. Um, then you can still open it and you can still slip in your slip here and you can still add in your dollar bill, of course. So I'm gonna be doing a cash envelope video soon. I haven't quite decided. I am trying to get into this whole cash envelope lifestyle, uh, but I typically in the past did a cashless cash envelope system. And what that basically means is I pretend like there's money in here, but I still use the trackers and everything just like there is money in here, but I spend money from my bank account. So that's another option as well. It's completely up to you, um, but I do wanna try full force this whole cash, cash envelope system. So we'll see how it works out. But again, I'm working on new designs. I am also taking suggestions for designs. Um, so if you have suggestions, make sure to let me know so that way I can design something that you would like. But I thought this would be super cute and I can't wait to do a video on my channel upcoming so that way you can see how I plan on using these. So, so again, three different options. This option, just the blank option, or you can order the set of 12 already printed wording. This is gonna match up with this. Uh, I also do have the budget um, dashboard divider fold over tabs that are just like budget oriented in my shop as well. I have a whole separate group of items um, separated out from the other items in my shop that are geared towards budgeting. So you can click on that and you'll see all of my budget items. So this is it y'all. And I am really, really super excited about it. I just definitely want to hop on and show you guys all of it. And I also wanted to make this video so that way, those of you who are on my shop, you can click on that link and see exactly how to assemble them if you are going for the PDF printable option, which is available for all of this with the exception of the stickers. And remember, if you do purchase the PDF option, nothing will be shipped out to you. You will have to print it at home and assemble it on your own. So that is it for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. You got a little inspo out of it. Make sure to comment below. Let me know what you think of these. Let me know if you use cash envelopes and also let me know if you have any questions. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on another video. Hopefully you'll stop back by to catch another one, in which case I'll see you then.